Hello, and welcome to Screencasts Online. I'm Darcy. Today's tip is on Tripsy, an app for iPhone, iPad, and Mac that helps you arrange and organize your travel plans. To find the problem we're solving, let's look at how most people book trips. In no particular order, they decide where to go and what dates, book flights and accommodation, transport to and from airports, locations they want to visit, restaurants they want to eat at, and how to travel between these locations. And in this day and age, there's probably a COVID-related travel document or two you'd need to include. It's a lot of information, and we all have our own different ways of storing it, from physically printing everything, to computer folders, to flagged emails with itineraries. But frankly, it's always messy. That's where Tripsy comes in. This app is a trip planner, which allows you to create and plan trips, keep all information in one place, and share them with your travel companions. Tripsy can be downloaded from the App Store. We're going to be exploring features available on both the free and premium version of the app. Upgrading can be done in-app, using your Apple ID, or through your set app subscription. We'll be using the iPad version for our demo, but everything you see here is available on Mac and iPhone as well. So let's get into it and we'll solve this organizational problem. After opening the app and logging in, you'll be able to create a new trip using the plus icon at the top right. I feel like going to Singapore for a week, so I'll name my journey accordingly. If you don't have the dates for your trip yet, you can still use Tripsy to plan before booking. Just don't enter the dates in. I will for our demonstration. And I'll select the time zone in Singapore. Click on choose an image here. And we're presented with many different options. I can actually type Singapore in the search field to get related images. The trip is created. I can see a rough countdown to my journey in the top left here, and I can edit the details of the journey by clicking on the pencil in the top right. Tripsy has a myriad of different activity categories to help planning. Now we have our dates, we'll go through how to enter this information, starting with our flights. Tap on New Activity, then select Flights. I'm departing on flight JQ7 from Melbourne. When I enter the flight number and select the date, it automatically collects the flight details for me. Pretty neat. I can turn on alerts for any flight changes, enter my seat number and reservation code, along with any notes I need. Then I can do the same for my flight back. Next, I'll enter accommodation. Click on Lodging. I have two options for adding this information. The first is to search for the hotel I'm staying at. This location already has the hotel phone number and website recorded. I can enter the dates I'll be staying, my reservation number, and notes. The second way is also quite handy. Tripsy has the option to add from other apps. So for example, if I'm in Apple Maps looking at a hotel and I click the share button, I can send it straight to the Tripsy app. You can change the category if needed, select the trip you're adding to, and select the dates all from the app you're in. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.